Hello everybody, here is Earth Measured speaking. Today I would like to speak to you about the Michelson-Morley experiment. All people that study the flat earth should know what this experiment is because it is important to understand the real nature of the earth and of the ether. The ether being the mean in which the electromagnetic wave moves. So, uh, Michelson and Morley wanted uh, to check if this ether really exists, really does exist. Uh, they wanted to check it by using an interferometer and by control, uh, the, by control it against the uh, Galilean relativity. What is the Galilean relativity? Uh, it is the relativity to which we are used to in everyday life. Uh, for example, if I'm sitting on a train and uh, I'm motionless, but only the train moves, I'm, uh, I have in that moment uh, the speed of the train. But if I start moving in the same direction of the train, for example, my speed will be the total speed uh, EA, that is the sum of the two speed, my speed, and the speed of the train. This is the normal Galilean relativity. So Michelson and Morley in their experiment wanted to check the total amount of the light uh, in uh, the direction of the rotation of the Earth and in the opposite direction. So they used an interferometer that uh, can be used to measure the speed of light and uh, they pointed it in the direction of uh, rotation of the Earth about its axis and then in the opposite direction and they saw that the interference fringes that result uh, from this experiment didn't move. This means that in one direction or in the other direction the speed of the earth is the same but this can happen only if uh, the earth is motionless. But uh, uh, they couldn't interpret the result of this experiment this way because if the system says that you have to believe that the Earth is a globe and is rotating around its axis and is moving around the Sun, you have to believe it. Oh yes, we have to bow down to the system, but we do not want because we want to understand what is the, the truth. So. Uh, they, they were uh, uh, in trouble, uh, but uh, Einstein, in, uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, intervened in uh, this discussion and he said it is not possible to measure the speed uh, of the Earth uh, with uh, an optical mean. He said uh, the ether doesn't exist, it is not possible to, uh, uh, to see um, uh, an ether wind against the, the motion of the Earth because the ether doesn't exist. And he said at the end that uh, the light moves at 300,000 kilometers per second in all reference systems. This uh, was uh, necessary, the, all these uh, statements were necessary because if not, they were uh, forced, they would be forced to say that the Earth is motionless, but the system uh, doesn't want it. They want us to bow down, bow down uh, to the sun, and so they want to uh, build an, helio an heliocentric system. Um, only that, uh, with uh, all these uh, new statements from Einstein, the physics has become uh, very uh, complicated. While it uh, would be uh, more simple, simpler to say that uh, the Earth uh, is motionless and uh, a clear proof of the fact that uh, the Earth is motionless, we have already seen, comes from uh, the fact that Coriolis is not manifesting over the Earth. So, all people that understand in a correct way the Michelson-Morley experiment understand that they failed in measuring a ether wind uh, during the motion of the Earth because only because the Earth is not moving. Not moving. The Earth is motionless. It's flat and motionless. And uh, with uh, this uh, uh, simple truth, we can understand why 
why Michelson and Molly didn't measure a change in uh, the fringes, uh, the uh, optical fringes of uh, their experiment. Um, we will see in the future that uh, uh, introducing again the truth of the existence of the ether, we will be able to understand how the gravity works on the flat, motionless Earth. Because it is difficult, it is very difficult to understand how the gravity works on a globe. It is uh, difficult also on a flat Earth. If we do not consider the existence of the ether, we will understand that uh, phenomenon like gravity, like uh, electrical tension, magnetical tension, are all non-uniform distributions in the space of ethers that are the particles constituting the ether. Uh, Einstein's, Einstein, on the other end, were forced, uh, was forced to reintroduce the ether from the window uh, by calling it with another name, uh, space-time, he called it space-time, and he said that uh, gravity is a stress or curvature in the space-time, by, but by doing this he has assigned again physical properties to the uh, empty space. This means to reintroduce the ether. But if you reintroduce the ether, you are forced to accept the idea that the Earth is motionless. This is due to the result of the michelson morley experiment. We, the, uh, we people that are studying, uh, um, studying the Earth being flat and motionless, we are forced to understand the real uh, meaning of the michelson morley experiment. I hope that I have been uh, clear enough. Uh, I thank you because uh, uh, you continue to follow me. Uh, this was my last video. Thank you. Bye-bye.